All right, it's been a hot minute since I made my last video, so let's get into some recent Tesla news. So a new software update is being pushed out to cars just this week, and it's got some pretty awesome improvements in there, which I wanted to quickly run through some of those now. Probably the most notable and exciting update here is that you now have access to the four cameras around the car remotely using the Tesla app. The US have had this feature for a few months now, but it's only just come out here in Australia. I can imagine using this when we've got the dogs in the car you know you've got dog mode activated and you want to sort of see if there's anything going on around the car maybe a really cool addition to this would be if tesla decide to enable this little camera inside the cabin to check the dogs remotely as well that would be a really nice addition also, side note that's not related to this new software update, but the in-cabin camera actually does quite a lot of work in assessing driver attentiveness. So if you've got autopilot turned on and you're looking at the road, the steering wheel is gonna ask for less feedback because the cabin camera can see that you're concentrating. And you'll find that if you do look away uh, or look down when you've got autopilot engaged, all of a sudden you'll find that it's asking for more um, check-ins with the steering wheel. So that's an interesting point. And also for privacy reasons, the in-cabin camera, it's all done in car. It doesn't go back to Tesla. Uh, so that is a good thing to know. The energy app within the car has also got quite a big update. So now you'll get a lot more metrics and information on trips that you're doing, as well as like how much battery the car's using when it's just parked, sitting in the garage. Um, all these like additional things that make it really easy to monitor the consumption of your battery. So it's kind of like based off what you get with your iPhone in the settings and you can look through all that data. I feel like this Tesla app is quite in line with that now in terms of the data you're getting. With this most recent update, there's also been a pretty ingenious idea when it comes to the brake lights. And it's probably personally the one I'm most excited about because for years I've always thought that wouldn't it be great if when you're driving on the freeway and the car in front of you is sort of touching on their brake lights and you can't tell whether they're braking heavy or they're braking light. It would be so cool if there was like different stages of the brake lights. And Tesla have actually achieved this idea in this latest software update. Date, and it's called dynamic brake lights. And essentially, if you're traveling at high speeds and you start to brake heavily, the brake lights will actually rapidly flash to signal to the car behind that there is, you know, hard braking occurring. And then if you were to come to like a really abrupt stop, then the hazard lights will also automatically turn on to prevent, you know, someone rear-ending you if you had to stop quite quickly on the freeway or something like that. And I just think this is brilliant and it's such a great indication of what Tesla can do with software updates. And now that there's so many Teslas on the road, you would imagine that people will start to become familiar with this brake light sort of situation and maybe other car makers will adopt something similar maybe it'll become like a universal thing uh, and i just think it is brilliant and i can't wait to see this in action Another small thing regarding autopilot with this latest software update is now when you're merging into traffic or merging onto the freeway, uh, autopilot will automatically disengage. Now, at the moment, because I haven't done this software update, if I had autopilot on and I was my lane was merging into another lane, it would automatically do that for me, which actually seems like now that they've done this change, that that might have been a safety issue or an oversight. Um, autopilot might not really have been designed to do that for you. Uh, so now the car will automatically disengage, so you'll have to complete the merge yourself. So yeah, not a bad thing, but I guess if you wanted to have that feature, you would need to pay for enhanced autopilot probably does that, and certainly full self-driving does that. Now, there are several other things included in this update, but the last thing I just wanted to touch on is that there's now more details when you click on superchargers. So it'll show you um, busy times at that particular supercharging station, um, the current electricity prices that you're paying for supercharging. Uh, so some really nice additional details you're gonna get that's gonna make planning charging a lot easier. Also worth noting, if you want to make sure your car is getting the most recent software updates, go into the settings on the touchscreen, click on software, and make sure you've got advanced selected. 
I've just realized we hadn't turned that on in the new Model Y, so I've switched that over and hopefully today we'll get the notification that this new software update is available. Now, apart from this new software update, there has been some other massive Tesla news in the last few weeks since I've uploaded a video. Uh, most notably is that Tesla Semi is gonna start deliveries um, in December, uh, the first client being Pepsi in the States. So I think this is like a bigger deal than people realize. I think the Tesla Semi is going to fundamentally change the trucking industry thanks to its built from the ground up design that is really a different way of looking at the future of trucking and then there's the autonomous side of it and the software side of it um, even small things like you know the truck driver is now sitting in the center it's more like a, a plain cockpit you've got touch screens either side of you um, the performance and acceleration and lifting like I think it will also help change people's minds on like what electric power can do for vehicles because people seem to think with Teslas you can't tow anything um, and there's all these sort of like misunderstandings about how these cars work so yeah I think this is going to come a long way to change people's minds and I'm super excited to see or we'll start seeing photos at least of these on the road in the states and hopefully we get them here in Australia. Something else that's been quite exciting is seeing the improvements that full self-driving beta has been making over in the States and now Canada. Um, we're actually set to potentially get full self-driving beta here in Australia by the end of this year, they reckon. One of the things that I've always thought would be um, how cool would it be if cars could like talk to each other, you know? So if you see uh, trees falling on the highway or you're, there's like a massive pothole, it would make a lot of sense if cars could talk to the other cars going on that same route to you know warn them that there is a hazard and with the full self-driving beta they've started to experiment with this so other teslas will now know you know if there is a pothole in the left lane to start to merge into the right lane um, all these cool little ideas there's also been heaps of other Tesla news going around the grounds over the past few weeks, such as Tesla AI Day and this new humanoid robot, um, the Twitter saga, the Elon purchasing Twitter, um, robo taxi rumors, so much. But what I just lastly wanted to touch on is actually more of a minor news story that we got in the last few days about Tesla now removing the parking sensors from their cars and relying now going forward on vision only so like the camera system in the car is now going to tell you how close you are to an object when you're parking you know reversing or going forward which is really interesting but it does make me more confident that Tesla are going um, streamline all hands on deck with the camera system and they believe that with their software and their amazing AI team that they can predict quite accurately how close objects are gonna be without radar, LiDAR, none of that technology is needed, just the camera system in the car. So a lot of you probably haven't heard about that. I think it's kind of exciting because it's like a bullish sign that they're confident in the camera system. Anyway, I know this is a bit more of a casual video and uh, not as polished and exciting and entertaining as my normal ones, but I did want to jump on here and get the ball rolling again with some new videos and talk about some of these awesome updates that, yeah, probably a lot of you don't realize, especially if you don't own a Tesla, that uh, these updates are coming out and how amazing they are. So I hope you found this video interesting and I'll catch you guys hopefully again very soon in another video. All right, see ya.